Hello everyone, this is Aya and in today's video, we're going to make over 10 art journal pages using stencils. And the thing or the special about this art journal pages that I'm using um, the collection by Art by Marlene Artsy Arabia. I received the box like three weeks or one month ago and finally I got the time, you know, to play with everything. So I have these watercolors, I will not talk about them now because they need a separate video and I'm preparing for uh, these uh, watercolor. But the first art journal page, I'm going to color the background using uh, uh, these uh, beautiful colors. We have metallic one and neon one. So I'm going, I'm going to talk a lot. I will leave you, you know, <laughs> with the process. Again, I'm going to write, you know, um, every, you know, uh, material or every product I used uh, with the stencil. So the stencil is really one of the easiest and the beautiful, you know, product to use, you know, to add embellishment or even to create a full page just using stencil. And this is what I did today to all my art journal pages. So the first way I'm going to use uh, the watercolor with the stencil and then next I'm going to use a different stamp and I'm going you know to stamp it just to add some texture again I, I added also some splatter you know splatter I love splatter just to give a really uh, chic uh, look uh, or like a final look uh, to the page again um, all products I use and the shop that sells uh, Art by Merlin products, I'm gonna link it in the description box below. I jumped to cover uh, or to decorate the cover for this art journal. This is a small accordion art journal, uh, which I really love and it's with a craft color, but I really uh, like this stencil. It's like um, we can, I'm not sure, like mosques or houses. Uh, anyway, I love this design and I wanted to, you know, make it to cover my, uh, to cover uh, my art journal using this stencil. I'm using some uh, paste by Fenabar, some with metallic one and the other one is a glittery one. Again, whatever colors you have, you just use it again. I'm just playing around with all the products I have, you know, with the stencil. I have this uh, book, this amazing, this is a die cut book. If you don't like, you know, to stamp and color, you can buy this book. It has ama amazing, um, you know, die cuts and all designs also by her. So again, I'm going to create now this page and you see that um, the remaining paste, I just, you know, try to clean it on my page, not, you know, with the tissue because it has so much product. So I don't want also uh, to waste it. again covering all uh, the page with watercolor metallic watercolor and this one called uh brighter not brighter sparkle and bright sparkly and bright <laughs> For my next page, I'm going to use this stencil. Uh, I, all the stencil uh, do not have a name. They have just uh, a, you know, a, a number or a code. Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So I use Distress Oxide. If you like this kind of um, chalk lock, you can use um, uh, Distress Oxide. And I'm going to make some splatter with the watercolor. And 
next page I'm going to use these paints so I'm not sure these are a paint or a glue with glitter because the texture is really for me it's like a glue with a very chunky glitter it's not paint but it's called paint so <laughs> I'm not sure uh, again I love them so much they give um, a very interesting look but it takes really time you need like three not three maybe five or six hours you know to dry completely so yeah <laughs> just a heads up so I'm using this uh, ice cream stick and I'm going you know to spread and blend the colors together The remaining paint I just clean it on a page this is the next day again so I waited till the next day you know to dry and even it's not that dry completely because it's a thick layer you know of the stencil and in every page I like to add you know a die cut from her uh, die cut booklet or the book and a sentiment we also she has a sentiment uh booklet sticker sentiment booklet. it's amazing and i really love all uh, her coats next page i'm going to use a spray this spray by um lindsay stamp gang uh just you know three colors and i try here to blend them uh, together so the art journal i'm using it's not a watercolor paper it's just a thick uh, paper which I really like so, and so I'm trying not to add so much you know paint or water and whatever there is water I apply you know to you know dilute it or just dry it using you know uh, tissue paper because I don't want to ruin my paper however with all these paints and sprays it just holds up so I'm really happy with this quality uh, of that accordion art journal So for the next page, I'm going to heat impose uh, this uh, stamp set. You can see, it. I didn't show the packaging. Hmm. So I'm going uh, to heat impose it and we see I'm gonna use white impulsing powder so I can, uh, you know, color the background. And for the coloring the background, I'm going to use uh, Distress Oxide inks. This system is really beautiful and I'm going to use it again on a card because here I use it really fast and even I didn't introduce you for the stamp, I'll show you at least how it looks like, you know, the packaging. So again, it will be a different uh, video. and my son <laughs> he likes you know to 
play around <laughs> okay so for the next page i'm going to use this beautiful stencil and i'm going to use also um dina weekly gloss spray but for some reason a uh, reason the blue one the blue color wasn't working properly so i don't know it didn't spray well so i'm just taking you know the brush uh to try to spread the color it didn't work but it's fine <laughs> Uh, then I took the yellow one, you know, to create this look. It's really, really beautiful. Again, trying to clean the stencil on the paper, not on a tissue. So I will not, you know, waste any product. So I will keep it just this simple. I just, I'm going to add a border around it and I'm going to use this uh, blue light color. Uh, I should use, you know, black something uh, dark, but I don't know what you think about it. <laughs> the next page i'm going to use this stencil along with pastel i have this pastel colors from uh jane davenport that's why my, it was my first time you know to try it and i really like it i like these soft colors and they really blend very well So when I'm done, I I took a spray, a uh, glossy spray, I think, just you know, spray the page, you know, to protect uh, the pastel so it will not, you know, smear all, you know, gone. I don't know to protect. They say to protect the page. Then I added some uh, holographic uh, glitters. next page i'm going to use these paints and i am really happy about these paints i have these paints for like three years or maybe four years and i don't use them that often but when i use them i can find them really um you know uh in a good uh, condition i mean they are not dry or i don't know something happened to them because i have some paint when also i don't use that use them that often but uh when I open them, they just are dry and they are full. So, so when I contact the company, they said, uh, it's your mistake. You didn't store them well. You didn't close the lid very well. So I felt bad. I said, okay, I will never ever buy this product again because they blame me instead of, uh, I mean, at least apologize and say anything, but they just, you know, fired back to me. <laughs> anyway, so I really love this Delusion paint. So I think this would be my go-to brand, uh, you know, to buy okay so as you see here the cover i really ruined the cover i'm not I, I i i'm not sure what i was thinking to do but i said i need to add more colors and more layers but ugh, it ended up as you know a catastrophe but i said no i will not give up i will not throw this journal i will try to work it out then i put this versamark ink because i want to add um, uh, silver leaves so when I opened this product it was really horrible it's like tissue it's not a gold or you know silver leaves because I use silver le leaves with uh, resin but I have a different brand like in sheets and the texture is really completely different this is like a tissue or something and I said okay I ruined it more uh, then I said okay I will redo it again I will use the stencil you know to hide all these messiness because again i don't want to throw it or uh, i don't know <laughs> so much product was there you know i i don't know anyway then i took another uh, uh what do you call it this is a paste a glitter paste by uh bow bunny and i really like it then for the other one if you remember that i i bought the masks so i don't want them when i try to spray uh, i wanted to make like um, a dark um, sky but it didn't work so again i don't want it so i'm gonna use again um white uh paste and redo it again <laughs> Thank you.
and tada this is the final uh look for the art journal page so when i cover it again i i cut some uh mandala using a uh, glitter cardstock and here is all the pages with the coats so i hope you like this quick and easy flip through our journal page please if you do give it this video a like let me a comment down below and i will see you next time bye